Hi, my name is Javier Gaona and this is my next guy story. Um, so I am a medicine student from Mexico and this last summer I had the opportunity to go to a medical exchange in Izmir, Turkey and the university that I went to received 18 medical students from many different countries. So I got to meet people from Jordan and Lithuania and Russia and Poland. And among the people I met, I met this girl and she's from Hungary. I, rem I remember we met since the first day because we arrived at the same airport and the group of students of Turkey that were going to receive us wanted to wait for everyone to arrive. So we met since the first day. And the dynamics of the exchange were the next. So we had shifts in the hospital from 9 a.m. in the morning until 3 p.m. in the afternoon. And for the rest of the day, the group of students from Turkey had planned uh, different activities for us so we could get to know the Turkish culture and try the Turkish food. And Izmir, the city we were in, is the third largest city in the country and it's beautiful. It has its own beach and, and it, it's just incredible. So we, we went to the hospital in the mornings and in the afternoon we had activities. And in the weekends we had little trips. So I remember the first trip on the first weekend, we went to Pamukkale and there's this beautiful mountain made of some minerals that make it white and sandy. And we went up there barefooted. And when you reach the top, there is a, an ancient theater. So from the theater, you could see the white mountain and the city of Pamukkale. So I remember I wanted to record a, a time lapse on my GoPro because there was the sunset going on. So I went to the top of the theater and she went with me. And it was the first time that we had uh, a deep conversation. And I remember that day I realized that she is so beautiful. But the most beautiful thing about her is not her physical body, but the way she thinks and the way she looks at, at things and, and how she feels. I, I remember I was listening to her and I was just amazed at what she was saying and we we we, we had a, pr a pretty special moment and in the night there was a party in the hotel because all the incomings were in this trip but I remember going to my room and I just wanted to settle down when I lived through the day and I remember I wrote her the first letter that I ever gave to her so during the weeks we went to the hospital and activities on the second weekend we went to Cappadocia together which is a beautiful a beautiful place and it was a nine hour bus ride and we sat next to each other and the whole ride we were talking and listening to music from Mexico and from Hungary and just we started to connect and little by little I, I began to, to fall in love with her and I, I don't know, it was... But long story short, it was until August 25th, during, during the whole, um, I don't know, exchange, we began to, to grow our personal relationship like between her and I. But on August the 25th, we went to a museum uh, with, with some friends and in the night there was going to be a party in one apartment that eight uh, incomings were staying in. So there was another exchange coming, other, other incomings, and we had planned this party to receive them. And I remember that I talked to my friends since before the party telling them that if it was going to end late at night, that I didn't want to walk back home. So I asked, I asked them if I could stay in their place. 
and they say yes it's fine you can stay in the couch and everything was okay and the thing about this apartment is that it, it's uphill so actually you have to walk and climb many many stairs to get there but I think it's worth it because of the workout <laughs> and because because it's uphill you can actually see the whole city and you, you can actually see the ocean too so it was a three-store apartment and in the night there was this party where we met people from Italy and more from Poland and the other incomings and it was just incredible and the party was so great some friends in the party got a little tipsy and they didn't want to go back home so they asked if they could stay in in the department and actually they took my couch I didn't have no place to stay so I okay I love time lapses okay so I was recording a time lapse on the roof of the apartment because you can see the whole city and I remember saying okay they, they can take my couch and I'm just gonna sleep in the roof so everyone was like wait what how are you gonna sleep on the roof but I was like yes it, it, it's it's okay and they gave me a blanket and I asked Sita if she could come with me because I didn't have my phone so it was dark in the night it was 3 a.m. it was the dawn almost of the August the 26th and we were in the roof I settled down my blankets and everything and it's it was impossible to not be romantic I don't know it because you, you could actually see the whole city and the, the lights of the city you, you could see the reflection of them dancing in the waves of the ocean and above us there was the night sky so 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 we, we talked for a while and and our first kiss happened and, and it was the most gentle kiss and it, it, it was such a beautiful moment so the rest of the exchange we were together and I remember the day I left her that I came back to Mexico and she went to Hungary that I, I made her this promise that Leaving her was just the beginning of my journey going back to her. And from the day we left, I, I've been writing a letter every day to her. So some are three pages long, some are three paragraphs, but every day I write her a letter and we are still in touch. And, and it's, I, I think, all these little details like the night sky it are so important because there, there we is there, there we were um, August 26th at 3 12 in the morning and the, the witness of that first case of love were the stars and now that we are apart, we are half the world apart, and it's and it's difficult, it's hard, but I don't know. It it, it is difficult, but having these details that are so attached to a memory, you you uh, you look at the night sky from that night, and it takes you right back. So. This is my story, thank you for watching, and goodbye. I think I nailed that.